Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus and I welcome you guys uh, back to the Let's Play Fire Emblem Order of the Crimson... Waylon! Waylon! Waylon, for fuck's sake, wake up! You got fucking Erwin on your back, you can't sleep now! <laughs> you fucking moron! Yeah, Waylon just got 6 to 9 by the Sage right here. And uh, he got put to sleep, poor thing, so he can't really do much. Bolslaw's kinda out here admiring the countryside, he's just going for a walk, you know? He's like, hello! Just sprinting around, being Bolslaw, because unlike the, uh, the rest of these plebs, Bolslaw actually capped out, and he's now level 20, so he's, like, he's done, he's retired. He's like, call on me if you need me, I'm just gonna stay here and mind my own business. Hanging out with Melia, the underleveled rogue, having a party over here, while well, the rest of these guys have to go and do boring shit, like, you know, seizing the gate. So yeah, um, I love how this LP has basically, bec like, turned into sort of like, everyone watches while Algamas kills stuff. Because, I mean, honestly, when you have this much of a broken lord, it kind of feels pointless to fight with the regular units. It's like, you know, it's like you're in the Justice League and you got Superman. I was like, why not just send Superman to kill everyone, you know? So, it's not like the enemy has any kryptonite against this guy. So, yeah. Um, oh, wow, nice one. I mean, I suppose I could be giving some experience to my other units. I'm sure they'll benefit from it. But I am seriously questioning if Algamus can, like, literally solo the map in the state. He seems that strong, honestly. So, yeah, I'm just gonna move ahead. I don't think there's anything over here that can remotely even injure him, so... But yeah, I'm gonna bring the other units along. I mean, they they can watch at least as he kills stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm at least going to build up my supports with the... I call them, the, like, the White Wings, because they, they, they really remind me of the White Wings. Even though they're one of them is a Wyvern and two of them are Pegasi. The thing about Algamus, though, is even though he hits like an absolute ton of trucks, he isn't invincible. These units will strip him down, especially the axe wielders. And his luck kind of sucks, so there is a chance of the odd crit. I'm betting these Swordmasters have a pretty high crit chance against him, as you can see. Well, hey, not exactly, but... And it's not like they would kill him with a crit anyway, but... Like, if, if, he, if he has one weak point, it's definitely the fact that his own luck is only like 12, so... If he goes up against a Berserker, he's very likely to get crit. And some Berserkers actually have the, uh, the the power to kill him. But they're very rare. I think Bowie could have done it if he got a uh, Basilisco's crit. I do believe some of the regular Berserkers can probably do it too. Oh, I believe Algamus just capped out. Guess I shouldn't have early promoted him. I think I early promoted him at like level 18. So it wasn't like an early promotion by any means, but still. Oh. 1990, Frank, but we gotta restore stuff here, so this isn't a big deal. It's worse with Waylon, who's like sleeping out in the middle of the fucking ocean. <laughs> Never mind, Frank is like, no, it's time to stop. Alright, I guess I'll let the other guys kill stuff. Um, What are her sword rank? Uh, her lance rank is actually lower than her sword rank, so maybe I should uh, use the lance. Would be nice if Eliana could learn how to use Silver Lances, actually. And I do believe Dion's the same. I think her sword rank is higher? No, her sword rank is actually lower. Uh, yeah, I'll take down this guy with Dion, or, or we weaken him at the very least. I didn't check what kind of weapon this is. I think he has an Aura Tome? Yeah, an Aura Tome. Gotta be a little bit careful with that. I don't think it's a big deal, but gotta be a little bit careful, either way. There we go. Wouldn't mind killing that Sage with Algamas if I can get past the Berserker. Boom. There we go. And I think Frank should be able to deal with this guy with the steel. Yeah, with the steel, sir. Easy, easy PC. And I do believe the way should be clear for Algamus to just go and bonk that sage. Yep. And you can just go bonk him. <laughs> Get bonked on. Get fucking bonked on, mate. Yeah, let's just keep building supports, I guess. But we are for the most part done here. Actually, there we can we can build the, the Clara Algamus support. Uh Bolslaw. 
You stand here with Melia and you admire the fort. Andrew, you go on fort duty as well. Oh, hi. Okay! Okay. That's a lot of fucking enemies. Ooh, look at these guys. They're a non-issue, though. Wow, wh why the fuck does these guys have elf fire tomes? <laughs> are they magic barbarians? I guess they are. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Okay, so I don't think these guys move. Um, doesn't look like they move. Yeah, this, this is a non-issue, really. I'm just gonna move in for the kill now. But just, I mean... It would be a dick move if they suddenly started moving, but... They didn't move until then, so I I'm pretty sure they're stationary. They look like they're stationary, but I'm gonna play it safe just in case. It's not like I got, like, like I'm pressed for time. I got 23 more turns, so... I think we should be alright. The Berserker might actually move now that I think about it. What is... Oh, the Berserkers are moving towards Valen. That's what's going on here. Oh yeah, this guy can move. Could have died there, actually. Very small chance, but I could have. Bum 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 bum. I guess I should probably run away with Melia. Oh no, nice. Wayland's here. Have no fear. Nah, I'll kill the boss before those guys will even reach me. Uh, let's see, Mangs, you can kill this guy. There we go. Then we can have Tanya kill this guy. Uh, let's actually we we don't have enough, so we're gonna have to use Celia here. Yes, Waylon can join in on the fun. Why not? Well, Clara's capped, so I actually don't want to use her. Sunda. Do 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 And down goes the Braxian. Wonder who I should kill the boss with. Maybe Mangs. I'm guessing Frank can probably help out here. Let's see if we get a crit. Should probably have checked if he had any other weapons on him. I hope he doesn't have a halberd. <laughs> uh, he has a two mohawk, so... Not fantastic, but I think we'll be fine here. But just to be safe. I don't want Frank to die. Alright, Hilda. Looks like you're going down. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I think that was the support. Yeah, it was. That's pretty cool. So now I got B with Cynthia. Bop, 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 bop. Balls lost just standing there going like, oh, hi. I did not see that fucking night. I'm very glad I healed up Frank then. Wait, Frank might actually get doubled here. Oh, uh, no. He's good. I just completely failed to see that guy. Oh, wow. I'm really glad I healed him up now. Holy shit. Oh wow, I could have gone horribly. Whew, okay. Well, time to fight the boss, I guess. Oh, hi. There are a lot of reinforcements on this map. It's just, it seems like the Mass Raider is severely underestimating how quickly the player plays here. Eh, this is fine, I guess. We can use Fenrir, maybe. Do we have support from both Celia? Yeah, we do. Right, so I think what I'm gonna do here... Can I just murder this guy? I think I'm gonna pull Frank back, probably. But yeah, I wanna do this. Oh. Oh, okay! <laughs> we did... <laughs> I forgot his animations were off. Rip didn't even get to hear her special battle theme, if she even had one. I guess we'll never know now. Wow, okay, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> oh boy. I feel bad now. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. Um, 
Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Give Diona and Liana a kill before we see. <laughs> That's funny. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's so fucking dumb. I could theoretically have stood around for a couple of turns and build supports, but honestly, there's really no point. Besides, Melia's gonna die if I leave her around here, so yeah, let's just uh, go seize the gate, shall we? We've broken through their line. I gotta keep the momentum going. Adin's forces are still severely outnumbered. We only have a moment to treat the wounded. After we uh, after we have all caught our breaths, we aim to finish this. Oh wow, okay. That's um... That's a really short episode. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think we're gonna watch, like, the introduction to the next chapter. Because 11 minutes for an, a single episode, that's that's pretty dumb, honestly. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, final. Jormund the Mighty. Actually, this is fine. I think this is cool. Even on this foreign soil, the waves still fill me with hope. You will not remember this day, but I pray you hold on to this hope I pass on to you, Ingva. Warlord? They, uh, they're coming. You need to, to get out of here. Jesus Christ, how many times are we gonna kill this guy? So, you were unable to stop them, Bowie. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Lady Hilda. Due to my weakness, she, she... Say no more. She knew this was a possibility. But her sacrifice was not in vain. Then the ships are ready. Please, Warlord, board your vessel. I and the others will pre... No. I have a more important task for you. You're handing me your son? Why? You are strong, Bowie. Young and inexperienced. But having survived, you will become stronger. Strong enough to forge this child into a master of his own destiny, should the worst come to pass. But you cannot stay. If you were to fall here, we... Do you doubt me? Of course not. You're the greatest heroes Braxis has ever seen. I cannot lead our people forever. If I am to fall here, then so be it. Now go. The proof of my success is in your hands. Gah! I wish for you good fortune and victory. Hmm. How many of these damn pirates are there? Horde was certainly not an understatement. But we must break through here or... They... they're moving aside? By the gods, is that a person? So we finally meet. I must say, you truly have impressed me to come this far. Because of this, I ask you of you to join my cause. What? What the hell are, are you going on about? You know we're after your head? If I worried about that, there wouldn't be an uh, armada poised to conquer the whole of the southern coastline. Your conquest threatens to quash the very peace we have fought for. You will find yourself short of victory, Jorman. As today is your last... Victory? I've already won. That is quite the arrogant attitude you have. Even if you did take over the whole of the coasts, there is no way that... You misunderstand my objective. And even if I were to die, my subordinates will cut through the land and quarter what they can obtain amongst themselves. Past this point, I merely expand upon my success. And what success is that? The conquest of Fadrell? Some delusion of immortality? Exodus. The escape from the frozen waste that is Braxis. All for the prosperity of my people. An odd word to use for a man who orders cities to be torched along with their inhabitants. A necessary evil. Examples must be made or we would be driven back to sea. You yourself pitted families against each other in your war. The two do not compare. That is... You're killing thousands just so you can set an example? I think... I think you? Free better off share... What? Oh, I think, I think that's just a mis misspell. I think you're better off sharing a few more sheep instead. <laughs> Do you really think we desire merely warmth? Braxis is a land of nightmares. Monsters beyond your imagination roam the lands. And for generations we endured hardships and lives of violence, merely to survive against the elements. Yet we remain bound by legends of punishments by gods. Yet your people seem content to live as pirates, last time I ever heard. It was a hard sell, certainly. I saw this land in my first raid and became enamored. 
From then on, I wow to see my brothers and sisters leave the damn waste we call home for these green pastures. To that end, I subjugated the tribes. If they would not listen to reason, then they would listen to strength. If that is your goal, then why not end this madness here? Pledge to leave my lands in peace... At pe... At... Oh. Pl pledge to leave my lands at peace, and we can begin negotiations for you and your kind's well-being. I had expected more of you, Queen of Ostreich, but you appear to be a fool. If you wish to safeguard your lands, then you should have returned when you had a chance. I aim to claim as much as possible for the many yet to arrive. So you're trampling and racing everything in your path just so you can sit on the top of it all? Is that it? Do not take me for a simple conqueror. I do not seek pointless bloodshed. As my desire is for a land where Braxians know peace. The talents of this peop the, the talents the people of this land possess are something we lack. Agriculture, literature, science. All of it ripe to be put to use. With the strong and talented, I will help usher in a new era. While you throw away those you think are weak? Naturally. But the weak are those who lack the will to survive, or to stand against the odds. For them, I have nothing but spite. But in you, I see worthy talents, so I ask again. Join me so that the generations that follow us may all prosper. You know what? That who, that whole spiel doesn't sound like complete drivel to me. Shame your ideal world is gonna stay just that. Very well then. Let us let nature take its course. Alright. It's time for the finale against Jormund. Let's get a glimpse of the guy before we end this part, shall we? Where is he? There he is. Jormund, the warlord of Braxis, unmatched in strength or ability, unrelenting in his pursuit of his goals. Yikes! Well, I expected the final boss to be pretty scary, but... Whew! 35 defense, 30 resistance. He has an iron rune, of course he does. Jormund's axe, its weight and power, are not meant for mortal hands. Wait, does this guy move? I think he actually moves. Oh, wow. Well, now, this looks like a fight. Join us next time as we take on Jormund. It's gonna be fun. Give this episode a like and a comment. I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye.